after 10 days, we go on boarded. And after that, we saw, first we didn't see bookings for, I think, one or two weeks. But what we saw is the viewings. The viewings, like, is skyrocketed. Like, literally, even now, I think, our views is more than all the similar listings. So right now we have a uh, 3.5 months booking. So it's literally till the end of May. So which yeah. means till May, we don't have to worry about no bookings. Literally no bookings. Fully, fully booked till end of May. You'll be surprised. These two guys who started their unit in Liverpool launched their property themselves. Now, a bit of backstory, you probably hear that from our interview, but they spoke to me even if before they set up their unit, right? Um, they actually didn't, actually had a unit secured. However, they went, they spoke to, with, with me, they, they saw all the services that we provided. Eventually, they wanted to launch the property themselves. Now, look, it's okay to launch property yourself if you've got the knowledge or you've been trained how to create everything uh, in the back ends and stuff. However, this guy's launched their property in Liverpool and being in a city like Liverpool for a whole week, they did not get any booking. Now, this is a very interesting client interview. Two lads, very, very amazing entrepreneurs. Looking forward to seeing them grow in the industry. But for now, this is the story that they want to share with you on how they went from launching a property, not getting any booking, coming and working with me. And in the first 24 hours, we landed them something special. And straight after that, we landed them £8,000 worth of bookings. So guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Piers from growyourbnb.com. We've worked with over 1,400 properties all over the world. And today we wanna to share you a little client interview from two successful entrepreneurs, young lads, who are looking forward to scale their business in short-term rental industry in the UK and hopefully abroad one day. Right, guys, welcome back to another Grow Your BNB client interview. I'm very, very excited to have two absolutely talented lads uh, who have not only started their journey but are doing some incredible things in their in their journey of property now firstly guys thank you so much for taking time and doing this interview it's a pleasure because it's a pleasure to be here no brilliant now look firstly everyone watches this video want to know a who you guys are and what you guys do um, you start with you <laughs> right so my name is Mark Woods and it's Ridwan my business partner we are uh, a company service technician company and the name of it is Hope and Stays yeah and, um, so yeah, we've got our first rent to rent uh, just a month or two ago, and then got onboarded with that uh, with peers, and uh, here we are uh, running smooth for now. So yeah, yeah, yeah about good. that. Good. Yeah, no. Listen, I think when we when we talk about if you probably watch my client interview as well, I, I've talked about two things, right? There's one thing called progression in life, and the other thing's called results. And I think it's fair to say that in this interview, you guys are going to talk about more progression than the results, because let's be honest, and we're going to put some facts in place today that we spoke months back and how you guys were looking to get a unit and then you got a unit. Now, look, without further ado, look, let's talk about your journey because people watching this, they're wanting to learn, right? And you guys are a perfect example of covering market and the covering challenges. Right, mm -hmm. it's gonna face. So let's start all the way back. So when you first got the unit, what happened? So the current unit, or should I get like way before that? Because no, I no. remember I texted you a couple of times about other other units, but it didn't quite work out. So I think this is the third unit. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this is the third unit, but yeah. So we took it on. Uh, it was mid December. Yeah. But, uh, it took about uh, two to three weeks to get like all the furnishing and stuff done. So after that, uh, we launched the property. Um, I think it was the fourth of January, and then it, it was been like ten days. We we're not getting bookings. Our beings was like literally very low compared to the other listings. So after that, um, uh, so I had a chat with him. And then we're like, so let's do this. Let's talk to Piers and see if he can help us anyways. Now so let me, we, can, I, can I stop you there? There's one thing I always wanted to ask you that I haven't. You <laughs> had a call with me beforehand, right? And I gave you all the information that you need to understand about longer term working, working with us. Hmm. You still decided to launch your property yourselves, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to put you on pressure and people are watching this want that answer too. So why did you go and decide to launch the property yourself and not work with me straight away? Should, should I? Uh, 
on me. That that one's yeah. on me. So I'll go on with it. Yeah, it's because I, to be very honest, to be very fair, I was like, hey, you know, uh, it's a uh, so our property manager. He basically has some of his own units and he has put them on um, on uh, OTAs. They've worked for him. So I was like, hey, let's go with that as he knows what he's doing and uh, should be fine. Also, mm-hmm. also we. Well, to be very honest, we were a bit low on the uh, uh, balance in our bank, so we were like, "Hey, let's keep it and play it safe." Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that happened. He took me out of my house. He said, "No, we're doing it." And then from yeah. there, oh, pretty much. Now, I I didn't know that you were obviously the second part of it as well as because look, I thought when I when we spoke, I thought I was preparing you for that investment anyway. Also, I told mm-hmm. you about the challenges you would probably face, and exactly that happened, right? You launched your property. And for ten days, you didn't get any booking. Now, let me hold in a second. I think people watching this who go through similar, hopefully not similar, but when you don't get ten nights, ten days after being live and no book, what was going through your head? Oh, <laughs> let, let me tell you. Yeah. So basically, first of all, <coughs> we were expecting profit. Yeah. Yeah. But it was been ten days. After that, we're not expecting about profit anymore. We were expecting about break even. Yeah. So. Like uh, yeah, I think it was after ten days we got onboarded, and after that we saw first we didn't see bookings for I think one or two weeks, but what we saw is the viewings, the viewings like is skyrocketed like literally even now I think our views is more than all the similar listings in Liverpool. Yeah, so so let me no let me like let me take it back though because that's mm-hmm. after working with us your views went up right yeah but before that when you had no bookings I, what I'm trying to understand is. How did you feel like because you you were expecting a launch and you were expecting one or two nights booking at least some money coming in, but when it didn't happen for for seven nights or more, like ten nights, what what yeah. happened in your mind? No, we were uh, like so worried. Uh, uh, we were actually like thinking about the views, like how it can be so low, literally or so low, and yeah, it was. And one thing that that we kept uh, discussing or like kept kept coming up is like um, so one of our few other uh, people that are doing uh, service accommodation, like one that we mentioned before, Kabir from London. Mm-hmm. He takes you and then bam, 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 happening like bookings like literally the other day, like the, the day that night before, and we were like, hey, look, they're getting bookings. How come yeah. we're not? And uh, this not working. This and that. Yeah. And one more thing, at home, uh, parents. They they are like yeah. So what's happening now? Uh, you got ten days. It's been ten days. Yeah, have you got anything? Mm-hmm. How comes you haven't gotten anything? So where did all the training that you did go to? Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> and that 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 was a bit rough at home. But I bet so that was more that was more hurtful than anything else, right? And I didn't know about this. And I think I hope your parents are excited of what's happened for your property in the last few weeks right so good now look i i would be honestly if i was you i'd be shitting myself skewing my french but i would because if i've got 10 days of no bookings i'm thinking bloody hell i've invested all this money that's what he was doing (laughs) (laughs) so so good news is look and and this is where you went you came and worked obviously you sent me the message right and it's amazing how i you know this was written in your journey that actually we were meant to work at some point it wasn't straight away but i hope i think this is like the biggest thing now we're going to move into firstly now you guys understand what a brand builder is for sa and short term rental what does that mean to you now so uh well to be to be fair i haven't thought about it as a brand when we were just starting our uh, uh, what's it called um education like you know learning that time i wasn't really aware that okay we would probably be a brand one day and like people would know us um like as hoffman stays as a service department or a business so i asked okay, we get one unit rented out just get our money and that's it that's that and then we keep uh, multiplying but uh yeah when the uh, branding came across now um uh, now if anyone googles for properties and it comes up on top yeah that in itself it's just a big uh what's it called big giving to me like okay look so that's my brand and mm-hmm. that's it's uh yeah it does feel yeah feel different from what it used to because before when i i was used to start hoping stays used to be like different you know different sites that give you company informations limited company information all, 
really but now if you go in there type of in space mm. like you got so much on it like literally a lot of pages come stuff like to book our apartment let, let's be honest how much time did you guys even invest to do that with us nothing nothing yeah, nothing like my team and ourselves we myself we've gone there and did it for you right and that is yeah. the point of brand builder is we've built brands again and again for clients like yourself but also i think one of the largest thing if you remember i said to you about guest booking behaviors uh -huh. people have a booking behaviors online and the certain way they want to see you like we do like when we buy something online there's certain things that you're going to have as a habit when you're searching for a brand right yeah. and i think it's fair to say that obviously we've nailed it as grow your bnb and for us to do that into your business was very easy right so um let's talk about a bit of challenge because when we actually first we when we launched your property i think not only your views went up but you got like 11 nights booking is that is that right firstly uh -huh. yeah yeah just after I, I, i don't quite remember by but we got uh, 30 nights booking uh, just after we got on board with you uh, it was uh, 1200 yeah. something yeah it's about like 1200 pounds yeah, yeah. that that happened in our first week when we worked together didn't it Yeah, first, first yeah. week yeah and that week. that just felt like magic that yeah, that yeah. felt like whoa what happened uh, i was at work oh, yeah. and he called me he's like hey, hey, listen, listen, listen listen i'm like what's happening i knew it was booking but uh, not that big of for one <laughs> yeah. i was like how's it been booking uh, i'm like whoa what <laughs> so yeah yeah so you went from nothing to a pretty decent booking in uh, and you know what And that's the something that you, it doesn't by the way I always say to look it's the work that we put in right you can you guys know that as well because yeah. we take time to understand your property we take time to build the brand uh -huh. even to a point I gave you suggestion and some bed configuration right and these are yeah. the things that made you think differently about your business yeah and not yeah. Be like what other people did I've actually found you to uh message us in our group chats or email us at different times that I would never like even expect you to uh message so that's yeah, when I nice. think that oh, okay so he's working on it right now okay that's that's fair but that's that's quite nice and okay. uh yeah, <laughs> yeah look, I I and this is why our customers have what they want because you know when you're my client I I always say we we keep nothing unturned right and our job is to do what we say we're going to do does that mean mm. we work in late in the evening we do because if that is going to make our client money then we're happy and this is as a result of what we're done right so let's talk yeah. about your success before we go into the process you've got at the moment i'll let you actually what has happened now so right now we have a uh, 3.5 months booking so it's literally till the end of may so which yeah. means till hey we don't have to worry about no bookings literally no bookings fully fully booked till end of may and we are sat 25th of feb how yeah. does that feel first of all <laughs> you know, how does that feel yeah i mean i'm obviously when i got that i was speechless cuz i mean obviously uh, i had to talk back and forth where to negotiate the rent cuz he didn't pay all in one go yeah uh, he paid or half of feb and and march firstly so, let's i think people want to what know what was the booking worth oh the booking was of 8080 pounds 8080 pound worth of booking yeah. that that is That's firstly you know well. boys well, well done <laughs> to you both like you guys have worked hard by the way you have worked hard so we only showed you the part right and you guys have smashed it like landing an 8 grand booking that is, honestly it's insane like knowing that that's like one of your few customers that you serve and now you're like fully booked let's be honest 4 weeks ago you were worried about your calendar now uh -huh. you're probably thinking you don't have a business because it doesn't feel anything does it <laughs> yeah we have the, yeah. we have talked about oh what's happening in the unit for so long like yeah. since the client uh, checked it checked in <laughs> Still a bit hands off, pressures off. It's all cooled down now. So this is exactly what I thought that it would be as soon as we got our first unit. Other minus the ten days that happened, this is now. This is exactly what I thought it would be to you know have a business that have a uh, passive income flow business. So yeah, thanks to you, the peers. Like if you was an employee and if you was yeah. for your works, 
I don't know how this 8K would have come in, but and yeah. The good thing is, it was it wasn't through Booking dot com or Airbnb or any direct, other direct booking to your business. It wasn't booking, so literally you're not paying any platforms, like no no fees. Once again, that things we only got to know about it from you again. Excellent, um, okay. excellent, and that that is by little things. That look, I'll tell you today. Now you go and get a new property, you know pretty much how to launch it uh-huh yeah right so the fact that now and okay i think for you both i think for you as well let me ask you some questions because let's be honest right you've and this is by the way what 90 percent of operators do so i don't blame you right but today now you have the knowledge let me ask you why did you not like you thought it was going to be as easy as that right yeah what, what has made difference now versus then why did you think it's not not as easy anymore because somebody's watching this by the way we'll do he's about to launch a property i bet you mm -hmm. you'll be <laughs> able to tell this go on uh well there's first of all there's so much to take into there's uh there's your profit pricing there are your nightly rates special rates discounts and really depends on what type of uh lets that you are you're looking for like short term long term some people may prefer short term would uh, definitely give them uh, yeah, profit, higher yeah. profit margins or anything depending on the locations maybe and uh, even even with that comes with you know multiple cleanings like let's say cleaning every two nights that I, I've never thought about oh okay yeah okay so yeah, we need to send cleaners every three nights and that yeah. would like become a lot of <laughs> yeah, that a would, month. yeah that would take a lot of money to uh put cleaners every now and then and uh but now with the uh, longer term client we that's gone right so that's gone so that that that's what i was thinking um which i didn't know but then got to know when we stepped in yeah so one of the thing if you remember i said was messy calendar equals to chasing calendar which means you're trying to chase tomorrow to book get some bookings then and then you'll have two nights booking already booked then you have, have a gap and then you were trying to book yeah. another and all of a sudden you're working in the business constantly right you're constantly working in the business uh, i think we're back back yeah, yeah, yeah let's hold this and I'll, I'll tell him to cut it uh i think i'll have to watch it cool so next thing is now let's talk about how was the process working with me because a lot of people watch this video to take a inspiration from you guys and b for young people like you to just go look screw it we're just gonna go and do it it's incredible but at the same time you're dealing with the challenges as it comes in your business right mm. so one of the challenges was your branding and marketing hence why you got us on board so talk to us about what was the working relationship in this last four weeks? What is that? Yeah, it was uh, very nice with you and Max. Like you yep. both were really good. Whenever we texted you for any help, for any suggestions, we didn't have to wait for like a day or two, literally within a couple of hours used to like give us suggestions. Like I remember when we got our first inquiry from Open Rent. Yeah. Uh, our pricing was a bit low because what we didn't take into consideration was our management fee. Yeah. So yeah, our uh, profit was very low. So I texted you, look, Pierce, we got an inquiry for that one was even longer. That one was for six months. Wow. And yeah. So she, yeah, she wanted to pay three months in advance and then again, three months in advance. But, but in order to do that, she, she said, we want a discount. Sure. And for that, Profit was so low, so we texted you and told you what's happening and told you so this is our monthly profit. And then you're like, no, we need to increase the price. But we were saying that, oh um, no, let's just like I didn't tell you that, but we were telling that no, let's just take it in six months. We don't have to worry six months. But if you didn't say it that day, we wouldn't be making it like we're making double profit than that. Yeah. The profit we would make with six months with double than that. So mm -hmm. if we were there but you would actually take that but yeah. now as not to take it we're actually making double for the next three months oh trust me like i love that i'll tell you what it's so hard sometimes um i work with different clients right and you could imagine sometimes my clients would get like 
a four night booking in between something and which is nicely rated and they're like mm-hmm. do you want me to accept it and i was like don't do it because you're going to miss the longer term booking now yeah. for someone who's got empty calendar that 600 pound booking is worth a lot and i'm telling them not it to do a lot yeah and i'm taking telling them not to take it which means you could imagine how i feel first of all to tell don't take it right because that's at the end of the day for them that's still money right but then you can now understand why it could be a messy calendar and that way you're losing that longer term bookings right so okay so now look what impact have we people watching this would love to know because look oh they've got all this booking and stuff but the impact you've got at the moment you've dealt with numbers of direct bookings only this has converted if you had more units you'll probably end up with more bookings Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we have had about four to five inquiries. Yeah. Um, uh, four to five. And uh, one of ah. them, uh, I don't know if you remember, one of them was an ex Chelsea coach. Uh, yes, correct. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we, yeah, well, I remember yeah. that absolutely. He only needed a car park and he was willing to pay. But yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. the car park around your investment area is expensive. That's why we couldn't sort something out. Uh-huh, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's right. But, but once again, like you mentioned, if we had one or two more units or other units, we could have easily onboarded, like, um, welcome them all. Yeah. And uh, that would be a very different scenario from what it is now. But yeah. But it's great to know. But, you know, remember one thing. It's And this is why I said to you, the initial inv- uh, the, the interview, there's progression and there's results. What mm-hmm. I'm loving about your brand right now is the progression. The, the progression that will never stop, which means... You're getting leads, not worrying about OTA, Uh getting leads to your brand and you're turning business away now because you're fully booked. Yeah. Yeah. It's an incredible position to be. So now, look, I think one of the things I'd love, love to ask you guys, and I do this on every single interview is, why do you think people don't take brand builders seriously? Because at the end of the day, you've gone through this process. Now you guys understand this, but prior to that, there's many people, by the way, who obviously there's enough operators out there, but they don't take this seriously. Why do you think that is? Um, uh, so maybe they think what well, maybe we saw is that it would be it wouldn't be that hard to maybe to build your brand, and people think what we thought as well, like paying two grand to build your brand, might maybe it's not worth it. But trust me, if you if you want to do it yourself, like. It's going to be way, way harder. It's going to take a lot of time as well. But whoever is watching now, I do recommend like just just don't worry about it. Get it and you will surely get your results. Mm, mm. And absolutely. And our time investment is to tell people that, look, what when we onboard clients, you've probably seen I talked about processes a lot. Right. I was talking to you. I was like, forget about the results for now. Let's get you seen. Let's get your views up. Let's get you seen in places you've never seen before. Let's get you seen on internet where people can talk to you about brand. All yeah. this thing is a result of what we've achieved today, right? For your business. So a fellow operator would, you know, would appreciate you saying this because you've now gone through that process. You've gone through a yeah. process of launching property yourself. You've gone through a yeah. process of not getting any bookings. You've mm. come to us. We've done some changes and all of a sudden your brand has attracted right this this kind of booking so look i'm very much excited now look what i'd love to do firstly two things is what's next for your business so now we've got three months like worrying not worrying any any, about anything about their particular apartments and what we are doing right now is uh trying to get more apartment probably london absolutely (laughs) And uh, obviously our profit is going to be higher because we're going to be uh, managing it ourselves. So in that case, we're going to be way, making way more than what we're making right now in Liverpool. Fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic news. And do you think by this five weeks process, you are extremely confident about your management, self-management? Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, 100%. like not 100, but 200. <laughs> but let's, let's be honest. Did I sit once? and talk, do mentorship with you guys. No. No. You guys learned in the process. Yeah, yeah. And that it just happened. Because you know how, like, now we've got a three months booking. So let's say in London, we have a three months booking. There's literally not much to manage. Just send a cleaner every month. That's, that's pretty much all. Nothing yeah. else. 
sometimes he might have problem like, which is very rare could be very yeah. rare but not that very hard much to... exciting very much exciting so look mate you both are absolute legend you've got to, you've done what you need to do for the business because sometimes there'll be people who watch and go actually we're struggling let me just keep struggling or try something that hopefully will work you guys were like now nah. okay well we've tried what we can it's now time to bring somebody who can do things better than us by the way there's always like i do that in my business if i find there's some people who do better things than i do in my business mm -hmm. i help i recruit them right you've seen max and the team they're relentless yeah. when they do the work right and there's numbers of things they do in google that i don't know how to do but my mm -hmm. team really does and this is why you always need to make sure that you invest in your business right so gents it's been an absolute pleasure obviously interviewing both I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure out of this, there'll be more people talking to you guys, uh, asking about my services, as well as uh, wishing you guys all the best for future and the growth in the industry. Thank, thank you, you Gears. It's been a pleasure to be here. And once again, like, I can't thank you enough for what you've done. And hopefully, uh, we will be still working together in yeah. the future. Absolutely. We'll look look forward to launching more properties with you guys. But look, we'll end this kind of interview as this. And yeah, wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah, cheers. Well, now you can see how much of a pressure that was for me and Grow BNB to work with this clients. Messy calendars, no bookings. At the end of the day, guys, it is going back into calendar management. People in the industry forget how much calendar management means to our industry. If you know how to manage your calendar, you will get those bookings. However, you have a messy calendar, this is what happens. So guys, look, if you're new to this channel, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and we'll be back with another video soon.